guys, this is part two of interviews. Uh, you heard my story or some of it. Now you're going to hear the boss, the creator, <laughs> the producer, the editor, hey. the... The, uh, I don't know. Well, you got too many titles hey, here, bro. Hey, uh, I'll take them. I'll take the, the social media inspire. Also, the one who insults you, because most of the things are insulting, honestly. Right, right. I mean, they encourage you, but they're insulting. That's him. But, uh, you know, with no further introduction, Mr. Jorge Gutierrez. <laughs> so, you know, um, you know, Joy. So, I, I must give the pleasantries. I'm going to go straight into it. What's your biggest fear? Mm. You know, I, th- I think I told you this before too. Um, part of me has this like ambition, right? To like to be great and to achieve like this life, right? But but I'm scared to not get there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and I guess like you know you know we grow up so academically, right? In this country. Like everything is school, and it's you know, and I've never, you know, I've never been like a since elementary. In elementary, I used to be like a D and F student. That was literally coming up. I had to try to get the C's, the B's. I was never an A student by no means. I got A's in classes that were easy, like chess <laughs> and like. First of all, chess is not easy. In arts, well, I was really good at chess. Yeah. I've been in chess since like second grade, so I, I was pretty chess, good at chess. I feel, yeah. So, yeah. So I've never academically, I've never been like that that guy. So in this country, we're so prone. To, like, if you're not academically good, you're not gonna succeed. Mm-hmm. So for me, in the coming years, it was a, a kind of a struggle. Like, damn, like, am I gonna be a bum? For me, I always say that. Me- mentally, it's like I'm a bum. It doesn't matter. I'm a bum. I'm a bum. But I think that that's one of my biggest fears to really be a bum. Like to look like, like years from now, right? Like let's say like. Four years from now, I'd be like, damn, I could have accomplished this, but I didn't because I was pondering too much. I was thinking about it too much. I didn't take action. So I think that's one of my biggest fears, to to fail in that aspect, to not be the best that I can be to inspire people, to motivate, but more importantly, to get myself to a place where I can potentially be, but I'm scared that I think about it too much that I don't do Well, that's good. So I think that's one of my biggest fears. So let me ask a follow-up on that. Do you think you saying cause you say it all the damn time? You think you saying you're a bum? Is that a, like a def- like a defense mechanism? Like so, in case you ended up being a bum, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, you, like, it's, it's kind of like, like, like I already knew. You know, um, I think so. I guess you ask. Well, for the most part, yeah, it, it almost is like a defense mechanism. But at the same time, um, it's not. I I kind of want people. I I want the first impression of me to be bad. You get me. I know people like to make good first impressions. I want the first impression to be bad. I want to be seen as a bad guy. And the reason for that is because I feel like for you to see me beyond the bad guy, you really have to dig deep. Oh, that's good. You get me? I like that. Yeah, so I feel like the people who do see me for a better person are the people that took the time to dig deeper. You get me? To have a solid conversation, to really talk to me. So for for me, I want people to see me as a bum, as you know, and look, first impression of me, you might think two things. Yeah, I mean, you see me driving my car, you're like, well, that guy's a bum. Or maybe you might just see me walking the street, and you might think something else. You get me? So for me, that's 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 kind of a defense mechanism, but I kind of want people to see me as the bad person. You know, I think I understand how you're saying it. I just think you don't know yourself because it's kind of hard to see you as a bad person. Because first of all, you can't ask me questions. I'm asking you questions. <laughs> true, true, true. But uh, it, it's it's honestly, uh, it's kind of hard to see as well. Like I've seen you interact with people you don't know, and even then, you're too respectful and you're too careful about other people's well beings right. that like it's innate within you. Right. I mean, yeah, I th- I think part of that's true. I think it, um, I think it resonates with certain people. You know, like I I still think that like you know. Mind you, I'm, I've grown up with, like, the old school Hispanic parents, right? Like, you know, teach me manners. So, so I still feel like yeah. that's always going to be with me, right? As uh-huh. far as how I speak with people and interact with people. But um, but at the same time, like, you know, I'm not afraid to hurt your feelings. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not afraid to tell you, to tell you you're a bum. You know what I mean? Like, if I feel like you're fucking up, I'm going to tell you you're mm-hmm. fucking up. 
And I've gotten people like, oh, you're mean. And I, I don't think I'm mean. I think I'm just honest. Yeah. Maybe it might be like a, I guess, brutal in a sense. But that's what I mean more like, you know, I think, you know, the per- the first perception of me that I've gotten from a, from a lot of people, you already know, is like you're the, the F boy, right? And we talked about this many times on this channel. Yeah. Right? I think the F boy and, and, and getting deeper into it or the player or whatever is always going to be seen as a bad guy. So that's my first perception. I kind of wanted to stay like that because that's always been my perception anyways. So I kind of wanted to say that, that because for you to get past that, you need to take your time. Yeah. And if you want to take your time, then you might be somebody worth your money. Oh, that's good. I like that. That's fine. That's fine. Put that on a t-shirt. All right, let me ask another question. Uh, what is your fondest childhood memory? Oof, man. You know, the first thing that popped into my mind, when you say childhood, you mean... Whatever you interpret it. Okay, I, when you say childhood, I don't take it as my teens. I take it as, like, young. So, before I moved to Alapada, I moved to Alapada when I was seven years old. Before then, I lived in Little Havana. So, if on 12th Avenue, you know the bridge that you yeah, pass by, uh-huh. there's like a gas station yeah. on the side. Okay, in front of that gas station, there's a little like rug company. And on the side, it was like a little mechanic shop. They have two little apartment buildings on the yeah. top. Huh? I used to live there. By the like, ice cream shop. Yeah, 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 it's like on the block. Uh, 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 a lawyer rented us that spot. She had her office right next to the apartment. And I remember every day. I think that's why I like movies so much now. Because I didn't watch TV. I, like, I remember the only TV show I watched back then was The Three Students. Like, black and white. <laughs> la- I love Larry. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, great. Larry yeah, Curry. Yeah, laughing great. out loud. That's the only TV show I watched. But I watched Tarzan so many times. I used to go home. The cartoon? The cartoon, yeah. The Disney. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. I still have the VHS. Still downstairs. Dang. All of them. Um, I used to go home, get in my underwear, and jump from couch to couch like if I was Tarzan. <laughs> every day. I, I would be infatuated with movies. I would watch them every day. And you just asked me that question, the first thing that popped into my head. Really? Yeah, so in, in that area, there was no kids. So I was literally by myself. And I used to beg my mom and dad for like a sibling because I had literally I would go to school and whoever I hung out with at school I hung out with at school. Actually, I have no clue who it was at the time. I used to go to Frederick Douglass Elementary mm-hmm. when I was that young, and I would come home and there was no kids in that neighborhood. Like, there's no, there's just businesses around. Yeah, there. yeah, no of houses, no spots. So I was like, if I ride my bike, I'll be outside by myself. Like I was like the lone, yeah. leader, you know. So I just stayed in, watched movies, and fucking kill toys. Which is kind of psychotic. You know, about it. I had a woody toy, and I used to stab the woody toy. I had toy. a woody toy too. I used to stab the woody toy when my dad, my dad had a, a card opener. I used to stab it and then color it with red marker. I guess it was because all the violent the movies. Really watched, watched? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but that that's that's funny. That's the one. one. I, I think I've heard the story to know. Yeah, it was the first time. All right, let me ask you another question. Uh, you know, I know you for a long time. Like I've known you forever, and before you were super quiet, would be an understatement. Before you, if you someone got a high out of you, yeah. was a miracle. Yeah. You know, when, when or how do you think this transition happened to the fact that you became like literally an open book? Yeah. Um. You know, I like that you said that. I remember when when I used to be in church. Um. We, remember you said the the leader reunions yeah. or whatever. I used to sit in the leader reunions and be the quietest and most serious person ever. That like even Joe would be like, "Oh, this guy's so serious. This guy's so right." Um. I don't know what it was, but I think that growing up, you, as a guy, you almost, especially when you're young, you know, you try to imitate the cool guys, you know, and the mm-hmm. cool guys, at least around me, like in school and stuff, were like what the drug dealers, the the the, the gang members, those guys, right? Those guys the are tough guys. Yeah, those guys are always serious. So when, you know, when going into middle school, I feel like you start making that transition. Mm-hmm. I started becoming a more quieter person. And it's funny because, you know, I'm always, I, as from a little kid, I've always been like the loud, obnoxious kid. But, you know, people will be like, yo, like, stop talking so much, you know, stop, you know, those little things when you're young and people continue to tell you that, you kind of start, at least I remember being insecure about it. It's like, damn, I'm really annoying people. Okay, I'm going to try to stay quiet. I'm going to try to stay quiet. And I feel like I got to a point where I just really stayed quiet, you know, and I, and I really just kind of kept more to myself, more to myself. Mm-hmm. And I think it was around like this high school period, like around 11, 12th grade, that I would I would show with, with Julian a lot in his house. And it would be late nights, dude, that I will just be like, yo, you ever think about this? Yo, you ever think about that? And I just thought it just, just 
I don't know, just something happened. I just started thinking about just life and mm-hmm. itself. It just happened, right? And this is on no drugs or nothing. This is just me just, I don't know, playing video games, eating pizza late night, and you know, we're talking. And I don't know, little by little, I guess it just started developing more of this, like, and I'm sure, like, you know, probably things around me subconsciously, right? I just started developing this thing where it's like, wow, like, you know, we we aren't really honest, especially with the people around us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think that that's very important. You know, we, we spend too much time, you know, giving each other compliments and all those things matter. But I don't think that, you know, as I think as real friends, we have a responsibility to, to check each other. That's good, yeah. You get me? And I, and I started seeing that a lot of us aren't really doing that. You get me? At the time. It's like, you know, you know a lot of us aren't really like checking each other, like having real conversations. You get me? Everybody's like mm-hmm. in this little like universe. You get me? So I started, you know, when I started doing that, I started realizing that some people weren't responsive to it. They, they felt like offended and I was attacking them. Like, yeah, I'm not attacking you. I just feel like you need to hear something real. Oof. You get me? Yeah. And and I feel like from there was just me being more expressive. And, and, and I am like that with my mom. I'm like that with my sister. I'm not like that with my dad because me and my dad, don't have that kind of relationship. Even though, look, I lived with the guy for all of my life. But, you know, my dad's extremely quiet. You know, my dad, my dad doesn't talk to me. My dad is rare for my dad to talk to me. And, and that, you know, it's funny. I feel it. I feel like he wants to. Because there's times where my dad just hangs around for no reason. Like, literally. Like, <laughs> he, he wants to. Utter. Like, he wants to, but it's not in him. And his energy, is hard for me to embrace that. Because I always say this, I'm like energy receiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if your energy is dope, be grass, be grass, be grass. exactly vibes. If your energy is whack, I feel down. And if your energy is up, I'm gonna feel up with you. So it's like he wants to, but his energy is not there. So it's hard for me to like embrace him, you know. So, but I think that for the most part, though, with everybody else, I'm just straight up. Like I tell you, yo, look, I think that this is like what you're saying right here is stupid because of X, Y, and Z, and you know whatever. So I think it was around that high school time where just it just developed into. What you see now, I guess. That's a good that's a good answer. I like that. Honestly, you, you you threw some facts up there. Let me ask you this question because um you know, I, I a lot of questions are personal because I know you. Yeah. So like uh you know, like what's up with the fact that you don't see yourself as influential, but everybody to... around you that knows you uh-huh. and will tell you that constantly like how influential you are and how impactful you are. Like what's up with that? You know, I don't know. I it's it's something that that's hard for me to really like fathom. Like I'm, I'm just a, I don't know. I feel like I'm just a little kid from the hood. Like I don't. It's it's hard for me to really see like, and you know, there's a the thing. Since starting, I'm down. Um, people reached out. You know, people reached out to you. People reached out to me. People reached out to I'm down, and and you know, them reaching out, I've seen, and I'm able to like kind of like, oh, okay, like you know, maybe I, we are causing a difference. Maybe you are listening, you know, but I don't know what, I, I don't know. It, I guess is, um, I don't know, you know what word I hate saying? I hate when people say, I hate when people that say, that use the word humble to say they're humble. Yeah. Cause I feel like you saying that isn't making you're humble. humble. Yeah. You get me? So I don't want to use the word humble in this scenario. Again, I'm just blind to it. it it's almost like you're not thinking the concept of keep grinding. Just keep your head down and keep grinding and look up. 10 years from now. You know, I tweet a lot 10 to 15 years. I think I tweeted it twice already in like a span of maybe two months. 10 to 15 years. That's it. They're like 10 to 15 years. 10 to 15 years. No, no, no other concept, no other context to it. Just 10 to 15 years. Because, you know, for me, that's when this will blow up. For me, that's when I'll make it. 10 to 15 years. Might take 20 years. Might take 25 years. I think that realistically, it might be shorter than that. But I think that you know, if you have a mindset of of it's gonna take longer than what it realistically can, that that's gonna make you better. If your mind's really there, because you know I have to continue to grind through all of this. There's gonna be times where I wanna stop. There's gonna be times where I I don't want to. There's gonna be times where I'm tired. But you gotta do it. Look, you know, I found that um Thursday Thursday I came. I got. I was just telling you. I worked eleven and a half hours. Most I've worked um at the office ever, right? So now, you know, some people are like, oh, that's it. Are you working? Eleven and a half hours. I work. You know more. Cool. Cool for you. you me? It's not about you. It's about me. Okay. <laughs> so, so in 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 that time, I was like, man, that's a lot of hours. I went to the barbershop, got a haircut. I was. I came home like around nine, right? So I leave my house about uh, I don't know six thirty. Came to my house like around nine. 
And I saw, I'm, I'm in my thing, you know, I put my beard away or whatever. And honestly, I didn't go down, I didn't go straight downstairs to get food. I didn't eat the whole day, by the way. Like nothing, zero food the whole day, which is super bad. Like I'm putting my body through starvation. Yeah. And I didn't go downstairs and get food. I sat down on the couch, grabbed a laptop, opened it, and uploaded a podcast. Because I felt like Chris is about to come within an hour or so. So if I don't do this now, and I go downstairs, I'm not going to have the opportunity to upload this podcast. It's going to be this Friday. So let me just do that now. And I felt happy doing that. I felt good doing it. And I don't know. Just right now, I'm in a space where I just want to continue to do and keep doing and keep doing and keep doing. Because the last thing I want to do is say, what if? What if I would have started that channel? What if I would have done that podcast? What if I would have done the clothing brand? What if I would have... You get me? I don't don't ever want to look back and say what if. So I guess I strayed a little bit away from the question, but I don't know. um, For me, I just don't see myself as a fan. I see myself as just me trying to be a better me and trying to make other people around me better. I feel like that's how God's going to use me um and whatever like you know just to make other people better i don't know if i'm getting better i could hope i'm getting better but one thing i do hope is i hope i'm inspiring other people to move you know because i think that and i treat that out today so many people have so much potential to do stuff they just ponder too much you mm-hmm. get me they honestly do they they're 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 too busy trying to be the artist trying to perfect everything and they're not doing it. you get me and they're gonna look back five ten years from now and it's just said what if? And that's going to haunt them yeah. for the rest of their life. For sure. Yeah. Hey. I, wow. That's some good stuff, bro. I don't know, man. I mean, I have more questions for you, but we're going to have to do part two of this. It's long, but where are we at? Like, I, I, mean, I don't know, man. But honestly, like, the fact that you just talked about the fact that you don't think you inspire people, but you just, I feel so inspired right now, it proves how <laughs> you don't realize, you know, all the gifting that is within you. But, uh, man, um, yeah, I think we're going to close it out there, guys. Judge will wave us off. But if you guys have any more questions for him, any questions for me, we'll just bring it on. You know, we want to get yeah, real sure. with you guys. We want to make a real connection. You know, just, just some guys yeah, who just talk. Exactly. You know, um, the goal the goal here is going to always be to build a community. You know what I mean? To yeah. just build um a place where, you know, we can just share and talk. And, you know, um, I love that you guys reach out. You know, so for you guys that have reached out, don't be scared to reach out. You know, I'm yeah. not no celebrity. We're not no celebrities. There's no freaking famous people. We're going to just regular people, regular jobs. So if you do have a question, if you feel like we're bums and you, we're not worth your time, then don't message us. You know, it's cool. Thank you for the watch. It's all good. Yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's all friendly. But if you do, you know, don't be afraid to reach out. Let us know, you know, how you feel, what you're thinking. And we appreciate you guys for watching. As always, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good, good stuff. Next time. Yep.